Mnemonic to remember the diuretic sites of action is MALTS, M-A-L-T-S, Manitol, Acetazolamide, Loop Diuretics, Thiazide Diuretics, Pyranolactone. Manitol and Acetazolamide act on proximal convoluted tubule, Loop Diuretics act on loop of Hanley, Thiazide Diuretics act on the distal convoluted tubule and Spironolactone act on the collecting ducts. Mechanisms of actions. Manito increases the osmolarity of the filtrate by preventing the water reabsorption. It is used in raised ICP or acute renal failure. Acetazolamide is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. It decreases the sodium and bicarbonate reabsorption, thus resulting in alkaline urine metabolic acidosis. It is used in glaucoma and altitude sickness. Loop diuretics, for example, furosemide, act on the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle. It inhibits sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transporter. It is most potent diuretic, but it can cause hypokalemia, autotoxicity, metabolic alkalosis. Thiazide diuretics, for example, hydrochlorothiazide, act on the distal convoluted tubule, it inhibits sodium chloride symporter and result in moderate diuresis. But it can cause hypokalemia, hyperkalasemia, hyperglycemia. It is used in hypertension and mild heart failure. Spironolactone act on collecting ducts and late distal tubule. It is aldosterone antagonist, potassium sparing diuretic. Thus results in hyperkalemia gynecomastia. It is used in chronic heart failure, hyperaldosteronism. This is all about the mnemonics for the diuretic site of action.